What's good people, it's Ocean here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to add drums in Logic Pro X. You see it's not as simple as FL Studio, they already got the sampler up there and you can just literally click in your drum loops. But in Logic there's no easy way, you can try and play them in but sometimes I guess you don't want to do that or you can literally just drag the sample in but that takes forever. So I'm going to show you like my easy way how to do it. So let me show you guys how I do it. So I have a random sample pulled up. So I'm literally just going to be adding drums on top of this. So the first thing you want to do is pull up this instrument called Ultra Beat. And it's right here because it's a stock plugin. Everyone has this. And um, once you open it up, you'll get this. But the thing is, if you've opened this up for the first time, then it's likely that your Ultra Beat isn't going to be completely empty. It's probably going to have samples already in there, something like this. And then you can play it and it has different sounds but you want to clear it so you can put in your own samples so you just go here and you click unload sample but I've already got mine saved that's completely plain so I can just add in my own samples now what you want to do is just drag in the sample here and then you'll be able to click it in like this so you can either play it by itself by clicking this play button or you can press your space bar and it'll play the whole thing. Now the way I like to do my drums, I like to do it one by one. So first I do like the kick, then the clap, then the hi-hats and add in perks afterwards. Or if you wanted to, you could add all your instruments into these different samplers and then they'll be assigned to different keys which you could just play in. What I'm gonna do is just click them in one by one and add it to a track. You can also set how big your notes are, so I've got it set to 1 16th and this, short, this 1 to 32 will come to 2 bars here, so I'll show you what I mean. When I drag my kicks over here, it only takes up two bars, so then we can add a different alternative here. And then once you've done your drum loop, you want to turn this off by just clicking this off button so it doesn't play in the background when you're playing the whole thing. And then you can hear what you've done. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in some snares. So I've dragged in the sample that I want. And I'm going to play it and just choose where I want the snares to come in. second part I'm just gonna have a, a bit of variation now I'm just gonna add another snare on top of that
now I'm going to add in some hi-hats too. Now if you see my other videos, you know I always like to pencil in my hi-hats. If you're wondering how do I exactly pencil in hi-hats, this is exactly how I do it. So I drag the hi-hat in here and I select every single note here and I change the timing to 1 8th and it will span over the full 4 bars. But what you can do is, well, you can change the pitch up a little bit. Make it higher, make it lower. You can even change the attack here so it doesn't come in straight away. I'm going to change the hi-hat really quickly. So once I've done that, I drag it in here. And then I go into the editor. And then I click on scissors and then maybe I half it. And I create rolls that way, I just cut a note, I just cut up the note to make it shorter. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slightly move these hi-hats off so it's not quantized properly. And it's going to give it a more real feel. And then the last thing I'm going to add in this one is just an open hat. And just one thing to remember, whenever you've dragged in the drum loop that you've made, you want to make sure that in within Ultra Beat, you've turned this off. Otherwise, it'll, this will continue to play in the background and you're going to have doubled sounds. And when you're rearranging the beat, you're going to be thinking like, where's that sound coming from? It's probably that your Ultra Beat is turned on. So let's say I put this song over eight bars and I take out the hi-hats here. So I don't want to hear it. I want it to be like this. But if I've left Ultra Beat on, If I've left the ultra beat on and I press play, it's still going to play in the background even though it's not there. And that's it for this video. Just a quick short tutorial just to help you guys make drums really easy, really fast in Logic Pro X. I hope this helped you. Drop a comment below and let me know if this is helpful or let me know how you create your drums. And also shout out these two people right here. Thanks for commenting on my last video. I appreciate you guys for helping me get to 1,000 subs. We did it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.